Hey guys, I'm Sean Calloway and I'm the director of new products here at Anzo USA. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install our 17 and up Super Duty headlights. These ones have a switchback function and are available in black and chrome as shown. So let's go over some of the features of the light real quick uh, before we start the install. Okay, so right out of the box, what you're going to notice is a black housing with the crystal clear lens. Next, you'll notice our plank styling, which is also has the switchback feature. And then a low and high beam projector. Right here on the side, we're going to have the amber safety reflector with a couple LEDs in here to light it up for driving lights. Okay, so now let's take a look at the backside. We've got a few things going on here. We'll start here in the center. We have the low beam, the high beam, and your parking light turn signal connectors. We have the parking light here. We have the low beam and high beam adjusters. And then we have the mounting points, which is we have our top mounting point, which will be at the core support. We have the body locator pin. We have the body mount for the lower portion. And then all the way on this side, we have the grill mounts. So now that we've gone all over this, let's go ahead and get the truck ready in order to take the things off of it that we need to take it off and get these installed. Okay, so let's start by identifying the parts that we need to remove from the vehicle in order to get the headlights out. First, we're gonna pop open the hood. And we'll need to remove this top core support cover and the grill. And then we'll be able to access the lights. So let's get started with removing the top core support cover. So to remove these, you'll need a fork tool. And all you do is slide in the opening to separate them, and then you pull it out. You'll wanna set these off to the side. There's 13 of them, so you don't lose them. So once we've got all the push pins removed from the core support cover, we can go ahead and lift this off. You just gotta nagle it out of there, and it comes right off. Set it off to the side, and we'll reinstall it later. Okay, so now that we have the core support cover removed, we can go ahead and remove the eight 10 millimeter bolts that are along the top edge of the grill. Okay, so now we've removed the eight 10 millimeter bolts from the top edge, and now we can remove the grill. So what you do, or what I do, is just grab right here and right here, right underneath the crossbar, and just give it a a good pull. There's clips all along the edge of this that hold it in. So you'll get some of the clips might pop off. Make sure you want to check for those so you can put them back in and secure the grill back on later. Get this out. Now that the grill's out, we can set it off to the side. Okay, so now we've got the grill removed and we can concentrate on removing the headlight from the body of the truck. We have four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this light in. There's one up here, two here, here and here, and then one located right behind this rubber flap. All you gotta do is pull the rubber flap out and remove the 10 millimeter bolt, and then we'll pull the light out. Okay, so to disconnect the harnesses, you're just gonna depress on the tab and pull them out. Once you have those done, go ahead and just lift the light out and set it off to the side. Okay, so we're ready to get the new lights in and get the truck back together. In order to do that, all we have to do is put it back together the same way we took it apart. Okay, so we've got the headlights back in the truck and the rest of the components back in. The last thing we need to do is to adjust the low beams. So you'll use the Phillips screwdriver you stay it right into the access hole in the core support cover, and you can spin it left or right, whether you need to lower it or raise the beam. Now we'll take a look at the functions of the light, and as always, thank you for purchasing. 